This video is brought to you by Cybersalt's Joomla training cohort. Learn to do Joomla the way Cybersalt does Joomla. And MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Get a free site audit at MySites.Guru. Okay, here's an interesting one. The client is trying to migrate their Joomla 3 site to Joomla 4. After they run the migration process and they go to log into their Joomla 4 site, they see that there's this weird kind of login. This is not the Joomla 4 one. So that's not quite the Joomla 3 one either. So after putting in a username and a password, they submit and they get this message. An error has occurred. Now, when you turn on error reporting and debugging, you get a little bit more information. And you see here that there is a call to undefined method, Joomla CMS, blah, 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 that error there. Now, what you'll notice here though, is that the error is in the ISIS template copy template. All right, there's templates, ISIS template copy. Now, ISIS is the default admin template for Joomla 3, not Joomla 4, but why is this being called in Joomla 4? So what we do is we go back to the Joomla 3 site and we go back to the template styles and we see, yeah, under, so we're here, templates and reviewing administrator, the ISIS template copy, it exists, it's the default, but that got me thinking, well, if this is a copy, maybe something is up. So let's see if the original is still installed. So for that, we go to extensions, manage and manage, and you'll see I'm already filtering by template here. And when I look down, I see that the ISIS administrator template still exists, but it is not enabled. Now it makes sense that the copy is enabled, that should work, but on a hunch, we publish the ISIS administrator template, go to extensions and templates next. Here we're viewing the administrator templates. You'll see now, we now see three versions of the ISIS template. We go up to the top one, which is the first instance, we know because it has the lowest ID. We make it the default, and then we run the Joomla 4 migration again, a few moments later. And the result is, go to login, refresh, and there we have it. The J4 login, and it will work. A very rare problem, but that's the solution. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites, and God bless.